So here we are on Twitter uh, documentation page, and we need to set up a some API keys to actually access our account. So I've already created an account, but you haven't made one yet. You can click on My Apps or Join here, and then it'll take you over to your My App section, and then you'll want to create a new app. So here I am on the new app screen where I can go to create a new application. It's pretty straightforward, just basic, you know, log in with your Twitter account information and then uh, you're able to log in. So uh, application details, I'm going to name my application. I'm going to just call this uh, Twitter demo. Uh, and then description, I'm going to say this is a demo for code time auto tweet and uh, then the website so it says your application uh, where is this website basically use information fully qualified URLs such as sources uh, if you don't have one just put a placeholder and remember to change it later so um, I'm gonna do uh, code time uh, IO in here for now but uh, uh, you might you know you probably put whatever you I'm gonna put in the full HTTPS in there as well so uh, if you're going to use some OAuth things, we need to explicitly say um, where the callback URL is for this. And we're probably going to come back and change this field. Uh, depends on how we set it up. Uh, but we'll leave this uh, empty for now. And then we're going to agree to the developer uh, use agreement. And definitely check that out if you have questions about what you can do with Twitter uh, and, and how you post and things like that. So we'll create your Twitter application. And it says, uh oh, Twitter demo is already taken for a name. So I'll say Twitter demo code time. Let's see if that's not taken here. Um, and we'll click it again. And let's see, it looks like it's good now. So I have Twitter demo code time. Here's my domain name. And you're going to see I got some keys here. So consumer keys and my access level. So I'm going to say manage keys and access tokens. And so now here we see uh, my consumer key, uh, my consumer secret API key, the access level, the owner, and the owner ID. And uh, here we have application access, so I can regenerate the key and secret key, or I can change the permissions. I can add your access token. Uh, so if I need to create an access token for that as well, I have that. So consumer key and API key. We'll copy that first one. We're going to go over to our ENV file now. And here it says our consumer key. And we'll just paste it. Twitter consumer secret. So that's what this is right here. We'll paste that as the second one. Looks like I put an extra line in there. Twitter access token. So we need to create my access token. So we'll click the create my access token button. And now it looks like we have some access tokens. So we'll grab the first one here and paste that as the access token. I'll remove that extra space there. And then the ac access token secret, we'll paste that there as well. So uh, now we have our keys set up. We are now ready to go in and use our first demo and see if we can pull down some of our tweets from our Twitter account.